this key unlocks it. Okay, in order to change these, once the paper gets lower than this blue guard, and it has to be below right here. At this point, then you can move it down to the bottom. If it's out further than this blue guard, then it's not going to feed right and it'll cause the dispenser not to dispense paper. So you want to pull, pull it out once it's low. Roll it all the way down and then stick it in this roller down here. This way we get to use the rest of the paper without wasting it, but we also could put a bigger roll so it doesn't run out while we're gone. So there also is, if you, you know, if you forget or you, you know, forget how to do it, there's a little diagram right here on the back that shows step by step how to load the paper towels and load the secondary. But there's a couple of tricks to these that sometimes the diagram doesn't tell you. On these paper towels, particularly, they have a glue strip, so you want to insert them in so that they're just like that. But they do have a glue strip right here. During manufacturing, some of the paper towels actually get a more of a glue strip than others, so they will stick twice. So unroll it till it doesn't stick anymore, because if it's still sticking, then it will not, it'll fail to feed through and dispense when it's time to bring the other roll in. Try to just, you know, tear as straight a line as you possibly can. You notice you don't have to be an artist because I suck at it. <laughs> and then you just want to give it a nice, a nice tight crease fold and you want to put it under this bar. You want your teeth to be, these teeth on the bar to be flush on your fold and make sure that, you're, that these are going to go up when you do it so that this dispenser is not blocked by paper towel. And when you close it, there we go. Now this one will continue to feed and work until the other roll is empty. Once the other roll is empty, then it will feed this new paper towel roll into the roller so it can dispense.